Hey YouTube, I'm back with another uh, video. Today I'm going to be doing a unboxing, I guess, of the Ryzen 5 1600X. So if you look here, this is the Ryzen 5 1600X 3.6 gigahertz base with a 4.0 gigahertz precision boost. It's a six core, 12 thread CPU. So this one will be replacing the legendary FX8350 that I've been using since 2012. So this is gonna become my new like experimental computer that I, it's kind of like a backup computer. So those who have followed my channel, they know that I, back in March, launch day of Ryzen 7, I got the 1800X, this is the flagship. So the thing that I recommend for people, so if you're not somebody who is gonna overclock these because uh, you can save money quite a bit actually by going with an eight core a Ryzen 7 1700 and then overclocking it to like 3.8 or if you're lucky 4.0 or something you can go that route um, or you can be lazy and spend the full price and get the 1800X or you can save a little bit of money and get uh, the 1700X and if you're near a micro center you probably want to get the 1700X instead of the 1700 because it's just a better deal um, but yeah otherwise that's that's the R7s in the case of the R5s uh, there's a 1600X and then there's the uh, 1600, I believe. Yeah, the 1600. And that one, you can save some money on that as well, but um, it doesn't have as good of a turbo speed. So basically, like I was saying, the main reason to get the 1800X and the 1600X, or why, why the 1600X is such great value, is because out of the box, it is 3.6 uh, base, and uh, that's like the full full core actually with XFR it's like 3.7 if good good uh, cooling and then it's 4.0 and then 4.1 on up to two cores XFR uh, so that's why just like the 1800X I feel like it's really good value for those who aren't gonna bother overclocking and they just want the best of the best performance out of the box so 1600X is really good like in I'm surprised that the 1500X to be honest which is the quad core with hyper threading which would be equivalent to like an i7 quad core like say uh the, this devil's canyon or i guess old haswell um those for some reason don't have four gigahertz on the boost i do not know why they don't um they should i mean they're only quad cores so that's why i don't really recommend the 1500x the you might as well just spend 250 dollars get the 1600x it has four gigahertz uh turbo and then it has like 4.1 xfr turbo it's just like it's just literally the best one there is. It's probably the best CPU of 2017 in my book. I don't really think there's anything that can come out this year that can beat it. Um, even if there the rumors about uh, AMD's um, big X390 platform or whatever comes out, I don't think anything in there is going to get you better value for money than this CPU. Uh, and on the Intel side, I don't really think they can match it in terms of value for money. So price to performance. The 1600X is basically king for 2017, nothing can beat it. Um, but if you're lazy like me, well, I am actually still overclocking these. Um, but if you want the best of the best, 1800X, that's your four gigahertz AMD processor. And if you want six core instead of eight core, uh, the 1600X is your four gigahertz processor out of the box. So that's why these two are basically the best ones. Um, not much else to say. I guess we can go ahead and open it up. So you have to tear, break the little seal here. Let's see if I can get lucky and open it without like bending the thing. I got it. So I didn't bend the thing at all. So it's a nice like thick thing. There's no no stock cooler on the 1600X. Worth noting, none of the X ones, unless you buy them like in a different country, I think some Germany or somewhere does have a boxed SKU one that comes with a cooler. Um, but if you're getting a, an XFR enabled CPU, uh, AMD expects you to use decent cooling, like a Noctua NHD15 or something, which is what I'm gonna be using with this. But on the side here, there's the processor, there's the Ryzen 5 sticker in all its glory. So that's basically it. Uh, I guess we can take a look at the processor itself. You do get the instruction manual here for AM3 and AM4 processors. 
it will show you how to install. Um, there's the one for the, yeah, there's the Wraith. That's the Wraith Stealth, it looks like, and then there's the Wraith Max. Maybe that's the Wraith, Wraith Spire. Looks kind of short, though. Um, but, yeah. Interestingly, like, I could actually use, I don't have the Wraith Cooler, or even the Wraith Spire, since I only have, like, XFR CPUs, but I could actually, if I wanted, I think it should still be in here. Yeah, I still have my old uh, stock uh, cooler for the 8350, which should be more than enough to handle a uh, 95 watt TDP processor, because this was like a 125 watt, so could use that if I uh, was upgrading and I did not have a decent cooler, but anyway guys, I'll be doing like my, like I did with the 1800X, I will be doing overclocking on the 1600X, I have some Corsair Vengeance memory that I'm not using, this stuff will go with that one, and then we will be putting it with the MSI X370X Power Gaming Titanium. So we'll be pairing it up with this motherboard. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.